Pastry dough mixed until soft, patted down and rolled an eighth inch thick. Cut into perfect two inch squares that fly through the air into piping hot oil. Fried until puffy and golden brown. Finished off with a sweet blanket of powdered sugar. It's the expert way that these pastries are cut and fried that makes Café du Monde's beignets a legend in New Orleans. People compare beignets to donuts, funnel cake, and other sugar-topped fried pastries. But those who've been to Café du Monde know them as a thing all their own. It's our, like, decadence. It's, it's who we are. I mean, it's everything about it. You come here, it... I can't describe it. I'm just looking at it because it's like heaven in a bag. Beignets start out as a simple pastry dough at Café du Monde, where the bakers are meticulous in the way they mix each batch. Mix it to get all the lumps out to get smooth. It's about 10 minutes, the most. As for what's inside that mixture? I, I can't tell you that's a secret. <laughs> Based on the ingredient list from Café du Monde's own beignet mix, the dough is made with wheat and barley flours, buttermilk, salt, and sugar. Once it's fully combined, only touch can tell whether it's ready. I check it to make sure it's, it's the right feeling for it to throw. I don't want it too soft, I want it just right. I don't want it too hard. See, I have to feel it. If I make it too stiff, beignets will start to shrink up. Then Curtis puts the dough through a rolling machine. I'm rolling it down so I can run it through the cutter. Brush the excess flour off, get it ready to go into the grease. You ever burn yourself during that? Uh, plenty of times. Still had the marks on my arm. Cafe Du Monde fries beignets in cottonseed oil because... It's like a peanut oil where the grease doesn't burn that fast. You know, you cook it at a high temperature. You'll see Curtis shake the squares continuously as the pastries cook. I'm, I'm separating them so they won't stick together so all of them come out done. In five minutes or less, the beignets are puffy and golden brown. At this point, wait for the waiters to come in and bag them up and take them out to the window. We serve. Shovels of powdered sugar empty into the bags immediately after the beignets leave the fryer. That's when the sugar easily clings to the surface and when the pastries taste their best. Listen, you have to get them hot, like extremely hot, because it's like, you see that? Like, it's so airy and light. I gotta take another bite. It's so good. <laughs> Better than a donut. Way better than a donut. It's just soft and chewy and excellent. And we always wear black so that we can have powdered sugar all over us and everybody knows where we've been. Most customers like a lot of sugar. They, they like a lot. Do they come back asking for more? Yes, they do all the time. All the time. Café du Monde has been open in the French Quarter for almost 160 years, all the while serving the same two items on the menu. With some black coffee, it's just like the perfect combination. Yeah, it's a perfect it's mixture of tart and, and sweetness that it kind of just, it totally combines with each other. And for decades, food publications, famous figures, and customers from all over the world have praised the sweet fried dough. There are a few things that you think of New Orleans immediately, the river, the cathedral, Pat O'Brien's Hurricane maybe, a Café de Mont Beignet. This is what you come to New Orleans for. First stop when we get to New Orleans. This is on the list of where we gotta go. Even if you don't like beignets, you kind of have to try it because it's just part of the, the New Orleans tradition and history and culture. 